Good evening, my friends, and hello from Sapphire Falls here at Universal Orlando. It is the eve of my birthday. I only have a few more hours left in my 20s, and when the clock hits midnight, I will officially be 30 years young. Everybody tells me, like, 30s is the prime time to live. So much happens in your 30s, and I'm really looking forward to it. But I thought to myself, what should we do to celebrate this year? I wanted to get out of my comfort zone like we did last year when we sailed on Virgin Voyages. And something that I've always wanted to do here at Universal Orlando is bar hop and city walk because there's so many awesome bars. You have Rising Star, which is a karaoke bar. You have Bob Marley's, Pat O'Brien's, I think it's called. You have Fat Tuesday. You have bars at the hotels. I mean, it can't get better than that. So. We're going to be meeting up with some friends and I'm just really excited. I think we are going to kick things off over at the Aventura Hotel up in their rooftop bar. It is pretty cold. This morning when we woke up, it was 39 degrees and I believe tonight the low is going to be in the mid 40s. So it is quite cold here in Florida, at least for us Floridians. It's 49 degrees right now. Bianca's showing me right now. I think if it's too cold, we may just stay here and hit the tavern and then take the boat over to City Walk. You know, I don't really drink at all anymore. I don't party anymore. And I just wanna see if I can still handle it. Like if I can still get out, have a good time. And obviously I always say drink responsible. We are staying at a Universal Hotel. We're not driving. We're going to be taking Universal Transportation. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys a full vlog. But I don't know what's going to happen tonight. That's the exciting thing. Let's go out with a bang. 30, here I come. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. Alright, I wanted to show you tonight's fit because this is my second outfit from Express. I'm very proud to be able to fit these clothes. I have a nice blue polo, black pants, I got the cream Yeezys on. I'm drinking some Gatorade to try to hydrate myself even more. <laughs> Made it here to the Aventura Hotel and Bar 17 is unfortunately closed due to the cold weather. Dang. I think we're gonna head back over to Sapphire Falls for now. Hello, Mr. Robot. Good evening. We're back here at Sapphire Falls. We're gonna start the night off here at Strongwater Tavern. This place is really cool. There's a huge TV over here. This is how we are starting things. What the heck? What is this called? Carol's Punch. We have a tequila and club soda. We have a regular old fashioned. That looks good, Aiden. I'm thinking about the regular. All right. What'd you get? Ooh, I am barely finished this rum old fashioned. And I'm already feeling it. I don't know if I could do it. I'm only on my first drink. The night is still young. Bianca's tapping out already. Look, this is how much she's already tapping out. <laughs> Our food has arrived. I got the jerk chicken from the Caribbean. We also got sliders. We have, what is this, Aiden? Pork belly. Nice. Pork belly tacos. Empanadas. We have more sliders down there. It's gonna be a good night, guys. Let's go. Of course, I am drinking plenty of water. This is like my third one. Also, the food is really good here. I feel like this is a new universal hidden gem. Like that jerk chicken was delicious. It was seasoned very well. Oh my, next up we have a, what is this? A green tea shot. <laughs> Thank you, cheers. So we took a little potty break. I'm doing okay. You know, I can tell I'm old. I can't do this much longer. That's why I'm doing it one more time. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the Strong Water Tavern. We're now heading down, hopping on a water taxi over to City Walk. Getting on the boat. It's cold, guys. It's really cold. It's <laughs> Don't listen to Bianca, it's cold. <laughs> it's a little brisk yeah, here in Orlando. Walking through City Walk now, if you did not know, most of all of the bars are located on the second level. So you can take this 
escalator up or you can walk over here and take this back way over to the bars here. Passing by Universal's great movie Escape. I have done a full video here. It's a good time. There's Fat Tuesday. And then Bob Marley's is just right up here. And then this is Rising Star right behind the City Walk Hot Dog Hall of Fame. On the day of filming, it is Wednesday night in the middle of January. So it's not that crazy, but I guarantee you during the summer, this place is packed. There's Fat Tuesday, and then we're coming up on Pat O'Brien's, and then Bob Marley, and then here's Rising Star. We have some music playing. We have the place to ourselves. <laughs> it's fantastic. There's Pat O'Brien's. We may go there next after Bob Marley. And away we go. I love this. This is really neat. And we're outside. I had no idea. We ordered a few Bob Marley shots. Thank you. Let's go. Cheers. We got another green tea shot. Just finished up here at Bob Marley's. That was a really good time. The drinks were good. The bartenders were good. The music was awesome. One love, one heart. Let's get together feel all right yes sir i agree moving over to pat o'brien's next pat o'brien's i have been here before this is the main pub here and then you can sit outside as well and then over here is the piano bar but this is the place to be i feel like I like the Mardi Gras theming in here. I just love pubs in general. Next up, we ordered, I know some of you may get offended. I don't mean this in any harmful way, but we ordered Irish car bombs. That was delicious. I really enjoyed this one. We're now heading over to Big Fire because they make really good old fashions. And then we're going to end the evening here at Rising Star, however, we have to get a voodoo donut. That's like tradition. Every time you come to Universal, you have to get one voodoo donut. And here we are at Big Fire. I like how they have the fires going. I think it's open. I mean, oh, closed for special events? No! It's closed for a private event. Oh, we are the private event. <laughs> we are the private event. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Since Big Fire is closed, we're walking over to Margaritaville. Hopefully they're still open, I hope. Since Margaritaville and Big Fire are closed, we're walking over here to Tucson and Hard Rock. Thank goodness I can count on you, Hard Rock. Let's go. <laughs> Next up, we have lemon drop shots here at Hard Rock. Bianca is actually going to be enjoying a drink here. Bianca never drinks, so this is like a once in a lifetime thing happening right now. Geez, next up we have another round of green tea shots. I was just given a birthday card from the Hard Rock Hotel or the Hard Rock Restaurant. Whoa, this is cool. And there was something else in here saying to visit the rock shop for a special surprise. We ordered a cheeseburger. Myself and Bianca were going to split this. Yes. Dang. Next up, this may be my last. I don't know, but we have a round of tequila shots. Chill. What? Thank you guys so much. Okay, this is officially my last drink. I have another green tea shot. It's almost midnight. So this is going to be my last one because I cannot physically keep up anymore. Stopped inside of the rock shop and this is my birthday gift from the hard rock. A straw, or not straw, string bag. String bag. <laughs> 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 Made a stop inside of the rock shop 
and this is the birthday gift. A drawstring backpack. A drawstring backpack. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what the heck is going on here at the front entrance of Universal Studios Florida? There's all kinds of trucks. We're almost there, guys. We're heading over to Voodoo Donut now. I don't think we're going to make it to Rising Star because everything that has stayed open closes at midnight, which is completely understandable because, you know, it's the slow season. <laughs> Hello again, Universal Studios Florida. It's crazy walking around this late and it's not during Halloween Horror Nights. Is it open? It's closed? The app said midnight. No, voodoo, come on. It literally says 12. That's all your, it does say 12. Wait, hold on. What time is it here? Well, at least the Universal Studios Florida store is still open. Listen, I know it's the slow season right now. It's in the middle of January. It's also a weekday, it's a Wednesday night. This is like the time to come to Universal because you have the whole place to yourself. Like City Walk, it's not busy. The parks are not busy. The room rates are pretty affordable right now. It's just nice. It's, it's a nice change of pace, it really is. And it's just a really good time to come. So if you're thinking of when should I visit Universal, January and February. Every single year, that's the slower time of the year. They have a Bianca keychain. This is rare. <laughs> Thank goodness Cinnabon is open. It smells so good in here. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is better than having a birthday cake. I have always wanted to do this because every time I park at the parking garage, I walk by and all the tourists are like, I gotta have a photo. Let's do it. No, the other way. <laughs> There's no one here. We promise. Oh, there's a few people, but it's okay. <laughs> so did you have a fun night, babe? I'm having a blast. <laughs> I was able to hang out with <sighs> some people who are very close to me in my life. I did not know if anybody was gonna show up, but people showed up, people took care yeah. of me. I was not expecting so many things to be closed yeah. because like City Walk doesn't close until midnight, but however, a lot of like establishments close at like 10 and 9 o'clock. Yeah, I think because it was slow. Seven. It was a slower night. Yeah, yeah, so it's the slow time. It's the middle of the week. But that's kind of how I wanted it. You know, yeah, I wanted absolutely. to come somewhere that wasn't busy, yeah. that I could kind of just be myself and chill out. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm happy. The clock's ticking. <laughs> Four more minutes until my birthday right now. Aww. And uh, we're gonna celebrate here in City Walk and then head back to the hotel. I'm 30, it's midnight. We made it. Ooh, I'm 30. <laughs> what? And then there was only two <laughs> left standing. We made it. We did it. I feel really good. I had a great night. It's after midnight now. We're heading back to the boat dock and we're taking a water taxi back to Sapphire Falls. We're calling it a night. We check out in the morning, well, at 11 a.m. We're sleeping in again. I wanted to also mention by staying at a Universal Hotel, you get inside of Rising Star for free. You don't have to pay a cover. <laughs> Made it back to Sapphire Falls. I think we are about to call it a night. Oh yeah. What is that from? The parks? Good morning. It is now the next day. It's a little overcast this morning, but I wanted to give you one last look at this epic view of Universal Orlando before we check out. Well, I survived the night. I made it. I woke up feeling pretty okay. I did have a headache for the first few hours of this morning, but I took Advil, I hydrated myself, took a shower. I feel great now. I really did have so much fun last night, starting here, well, starting at Aventura, then the rooftop bar was closed due to the cold weather, which is completely understandable. Then we came back over here to Sapphire Falls. We really loved that tavern, Strongwater Tavern. 
the staff was very kind, very friendly. They make all of their drinks fresh, made to order. They make a lot of their ingredients in-house. And the food was so good. That jerk chicken, oh my goodness. It was seasoned so well. Had a little bit of a kick to it. All of the food was really good. I highly recommend that place. That is definitely a universal hidden gem. Come check that place out. And it's just really nice having so many dining options down in your main lobby. We'll get to more on that in just a minute. And then from here, we hopped on a boat, took it over to City Walk. We started at Bob Marley's, which was fantastic. I really love that place. That is another hidden gem. And then we went to Pat O'Brien's, which was a really good time. And then Big Fire was closed. And then we walked over to Hard Rock, which Hard Rock saved the day. That was a lot of fun. And then we tried to get a Voodoo Donut. Voodoo closed early, probably due to the cold weather as well. And then Cinnabon came in clutch. And then we just made it back here to the room. And I'm 30 now. It's crazy. I still feel the same. But you know, I have noticed I am getting a lot wiser. Bianca tells me I'm getting wiser, which that's a really good thing. And something that I really want to focus on this year is just to let certain things go that I can't control try not to hold any grudges and just kind of let bygones be bygones and um it's already off to a good start and that's really just where i want to go in my 30s i just want to live life to the fullest and i just just want to be me and if you want to be in my life you can be in my life if you don't you don't i have bianca that's the only friend i need in my life so it's good, but let's talk about Sapphire Falls. I truly do believe this is the best Universal Hotel on property. And I'm not just saying that because Universal is hosting us. I'm going to be coming back just because I really enjoyed all of the amenities. I love the gym. The pool was beautiful. There's so many dining options. You have the tavern. You have a Universal store. Uh, what else? It's just it's just very cozy and homey here, it. right? I love this the view was incredible. Saw Rip Rocket, yeah, Hulk, Dr. everything. It's it, it's crazy. We will be coming back here now. I still have not stayed at Portofino Bay, and I have not stayed at Dockside in the summer. Dockside, those are coming up. We're going to be doing it very soon. But so far, I think the number one before this stay was the Aventura World Pacific Hard Rock. But like with Hard Rock, the only thing I really enjoyed about the Hard Rock was the location because you can't get any closer to the parks than Hard Rock. But now Sapphire Falls is at number one. And I mean the price, this is, what did they call this? A preferred hotel. It's not a moderate, it's a preferred. So there's premier, preferred, prime value, and value. Those are the four tiers of the universal hotels and preferred. Premier is the <laughs> tier that gets you the included express passes. Everything else does not. But really, Sapphire Falls should be a premiere, but it's a preferred. Also, something else that I wanted to quickly mention, if you want to come hang out in City Walk, you don't have to pay for parking after 6 p.m. So I found that interesting. You don't have to pay to come hang out in City Walk. Something to keep in mind. I love this place. I can't wait to come back. I think I covered everything that I needed to cover. Thank you so much for all of the birthday love and the constant support from the bottom of my heart. It truly feels really good to feel loved and to feel appreciated and universal. You guys made me feel really appreciated and each and every one of you made me feel really appreciated. And I'm very thankful and very blessed for that. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. We're gonna pack up, check out, and get home and celebrate my birthday with the family off camera and uh that's all thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways i love you guys so much please remember it's nice to be nice on youtube i'll see you in the next video i'm out